In this case, we have selected a FRED 4026, which means a 4.0 millimeter stent diameter with a working length of 26 millimeters for a target vessel of 4.0 millimeters in diameter. Working length is defined as the area where both inner and outer stent layers are integrated. The size of the FRED device should match the size of the vessel. If the device is smaller than the vessel, there is risk of migration and endoleak. If the device is too large for the vessel, it may be difficult to deploy, especially in tortuous vasculature. Do not oversize by more than 0.5 millimeters. First, we will position the microcatheter at the desired distal landing zone before deploying the stent. The device is best delivered using a two-handed technique. One hand will control the behavior of the microcatheter, while the other hand will advance the pusher of the device. By balancing the position of the microcatheter with the advancement of the pusher, one can be more precise with placement. Smoothly and evenly deploy the stent while watching for good vessel wall apposition. When about half of the stent is deployed, we can use the 50-50 guideline to predict where the detachment or proximal landing zone will occur. Here you can see the device opens with even distribution. You can see the distal radiopaque markers. You can see the distal tip of the microcatheter. And here you can see the detachment zone very clearly, followed by the four flared end distal stent markers. Just before fully deploying the stent in its final position, you can verify the proximal landing zone by looking at the remaining length within the microcatheter.